Rudy Giuliani. All right. Good evening, Judge, uh, Mr. You? Mayor. I am fine. This just breaking <laughs> news during my open federal judge signing uh, this day. What can you tell us about it? Well, I think it's uh, first of all, I thought your opening was absolutely a terrific explanation of what's been wrong with this country for 20, 30 years. Uh, good deal of time that you were district attorney. I was U.S. attorney in the Southern District right. of New York. And I couldn't get the immigration service to deport the criminals who were coming out of jail. They put them on bail and they commit more crimes and then I have to arrest them again. And it's totally absurd. What Donald Trump wants to do, what Homeland Security wants to do under him, is focus on the criminal illegal aliens and get them out of the United States. Who possibly could object to that? I, I, I have no you idea know, what these mayors are thinking about. I, I don't know what they're thinking about either, and I have the same problem. I would seek to have someone deported after they served their jail time. Their country didn't want them, so the United States would say, okay, we'll keep them. Well, then or what we should do is, what we should yeah. do is, first of all, we should develop detention centers for them. They shouldn't, shouldn't be catch and release. They shouldn't go to jail for five years for assault or attempted murder or selling drugs and then go back out on the street. They should go right. into a detention center. They should be I held. Agree. They should be held. And then we should exert all the pressure that we have, which is enormous, by the way, to deport them to the countries where they're supposed to go to. Because and they in fact, in the executive action that the pre President Trump just signed, he talked about limiting visas from those countries that refuse to accept criminals uh, back to their countries. They say, these countries that say, oh no, he's too, too dangerous for us to take back. Well, here's the deal. Now we're going to pull you by the short hairs. You can't come here. But, but that, that makes perfect sense. And now we've got a president who gets it. Thank you. Well, that, that actually describes his whole first week in office, which is negotiating in the best interests of the United States of America, not the rest of the world, but protecting our citizens from what's happened with illegal criminal immigrants and in a lot of other areas. Uh, this last week, I think, has been a week that where he has done more than Roosevelt did in 100 days. Uh, I, I don't think there's any question. He, he, he not only hit the ground running, but he's been airborne since the first 24 hours. <laughs> he doesn't but sleep. Mayor, he does, uh, I, yeah. I know this. I know that. He doesn't, we, you, both you, do. we, we both know him personally, right? <laughs> this yes. man doesn't sleep. <laughs> it's unbelievable. But I want to ask you about this ban. I want to ask you about this ban and the protest. Does the ban have anything to do with religion? How did the president decide the seven countries? Uh, I understand the permanent ban on the refugees. Okay. Uh, um, and, okay, um, talk to me. Tell you the whole history of it. So right. when he first announced it, he said Muslim ban. He called me up. He said, put a commission together. Show me the right way to do it legally. I put a commission together with Judge Mukasey with Congressman McCall, Pete King, whole group of other very expert lawyers on this. And what we did was we focused on, instead of religion, danger. The right. air areas of the world that create danger for us, which is a factual basis, not a religious basis. Perfectly legal, perfectly sensible, and that's what the ban is based on. It's not based on you... religion. It's based on places where there are substantial evidence that people are sending terrorists into our country. Well, let me ask you this. When, when, you know, I was kind of surprised to see that Saudi Arabia and Pakistan are not on the list. And yet, you know, we know that the uh, San Bernardino attack by Syed Farouk and uh, Malik, uh, uh, I think her name was Tashfi Malik, she was born in Pakistan and then came through Saudi Arabia. So, I mean, wh why were some of those countries okay, well, left I'll, out? I'll, I'll, I'll tell you about Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia is going through a massive change. I think the kingdom, particularly under the new prince, has a real understanding that we're dealing with a massive radical Islamic terrorist problem. It is not the old Saudi Arabia. This isn't the Saudi Arabia of 2000, 2001, 2002. Uh, President Obama is dealing with a new Saudi Arabia, which the is... President Trump. Uh, yeah, uh, pre 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 President Trump, rather, is dealing with a very different... Saudi Arabia than President Obama was dealing with. 
and a Saudi Arabia that has much closer relationships with Israel and with us if we know how to use it correctly. Pakistan, okay, well, Pakistan, I would have to know more about. That troubles right. me a little bit like it yeah. troubles you. All right, all right. Uh, Mr. Mayor, you know, I can't believe I'm not in New York tonight. You and I are always try I don't know. To we, never, we miss each other all the time. <laughs> all right. It's good to see you, though. Thank you so much. Thank you. And anytime. Time